Hello, happy people. This is your host, Crypto Puffy, and welcome to our today's show. Any crypto trader who has been in this game for some time knows that blockchain suffers from some fundamental privacy problems because of how it has been designed. For a cryptocurrency such as Bitcoin, this means that the blockchain is available publicly and every transaction can be traced back to its source. With this legitimate concern continuing to undermine the crypto world, several protocols have been developed to attempt to solve the problem, and Raise Network is one of them. Raise Network is a substrate-based cross-chain privacy protocol for the Polkadot ecosystem. It is built as a native privacy layer that can provide end-to-end anonymity for the entire DeFi and Web3.0 stack. In this video, we are going to have a quick overview of this network that has sent ripples across the crypto space, explaining what it is and how it works. The video is the first of a series of videos on this project, so make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss the other videos that will highlight more details on this project, such as tokenomics, the mining process, and the project's public sale, updates, and a lot more. Also, before we jump into the video, please note that the content we present here is meant for education and entertainment purposes only and is not to be used as financial advice. With that said, let's jump into it. The main objective of Race Network is to build a cross-chain privacy middleware for DeFi and Web3.0. It aims to become a fundamental module in the Polkadot landscape for those that are concerned about preserving their financial freedom while also maintaining OTW transparency across blockchains. At the moment, an overwhelming majority of the DeFi throw output goes via the Ethereum blockchain. However, in 2020, we saw Polkadot experience the biggest upsurge in developer activity at more than 44% compared to any other platform. This development activity is a good sign that technical talent is choosing to deploy their skills and build on Polkadot, therefore making it even more bullish. In fact, DeFi developers appear to be looking towards Polkadot in an effort to take advantage of this fast raw output, the substrate development framework and ultimately interoperability. The price of Polkadot grew rapidly in 2020 to be the fourth biggest project by market cap. Much of this excitement can be correlated to the potential for DeFi that is being built currently and will be built this year on Polkadot. Race clearly sees the potential of Polkadot and is working diligently to become an important part of the burgeoning chain with regards to maintaining financial privacy for users. The Race network team and advisors are people with deep knowledge of zero-knowledge algorithm and implemented privacy techniques on Ethereum. Their background consists of both engineering and academic experience and they have lots of experience in design implementing trustless ZK Snark schemes. Substrate is a new and promising platform to implement this privacy protocol and leverage cross-chain features to achieve state-of-the-art privacy solutions for all DeFi applications. This gives the Race team the confidence that they are capable of bringing more privacy contributions to the Substrate framework as well. Hey, are you getting value from this video so far? If you are, Please hit that like button and if you haven't done so already, subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be notified about our newest videos. And just in case you are new here, our channel is your home of all amazing facts and latest developments in the world of cryptocurrencies. And now, back to our project. So, Race Network proposes to solve the privacy problem we are talking about in a pretty simple but smart fashion. The underlying logic is to mint private tokens from base tokens on the contract at a minting value ratio of 1 to 1. ZK snarks are key to maintaining anonymity, while also providing the required information for data parsing. It will have three technical abilities. First, mint, that will convert any token into an anonymized version of itself. Second, redeem, which will convert the anonymized token back to its native form. And third, the transfer, which is the function that enables the anonymous transfer of the token. It will conceal and protect both the anonymity of both senders and receiver and the amount being sent. They also have four products, 
which we'll look more in details later on. Private transaction, in which users can use RAIS to empower the privacy of on-chain transactions between recipient and destination addresses and transfer any token between any blockchain. Then we have the secret DeFi bridge where users can hide their trading history as RAISE is compatible across all DeFi products. It can be fully compatible with Uniswap, Aave, Compound and DeFi ecosystems on Polkadot and Cosmos. Then we have the anonymity mining that allows users to mine RAISE in a truly private way. The access to the liquidity pool always stays anonymous and secure. And latest but not the least, RAISE VM integration, where builders can implement the privacy-preserving functions with an open protocol giving access to all decentralized applications. There are several advantages tied to these conclusions, to these solutions by REST network, including a limitless and seamless protocol that can connect to any unconnected DeFi or Web 3.0 product and expand the capability of existing decentralized application with RAISE VM. Then we have the crypto-friendly and tradable, meaning that the mint and redeem mechanism is implemented for creating private tokens, hence making intangible privacy tradable. And then we have the decentralized and interoperable, meaning that the substrate framework provides RAISE the attributes of interoperability and RAISE network is a decentralized project building open source. Moving on there is also a RAISE token that plays the role of the core utility in the RAISE ne network ecosystem. It can capture the values they mentioned below, including but not limited to privacy preserving, governance and voting, intermediary of exchange, token burning and liquidity reward. We shall go into the details of each of these values in the coming video. Also, we have mentioned a bit about the first one, the privacy preserving already. The team has also an impressive roadmap starting Q3 of last year 2020 all through Q4 of this year 2021 with a specific milestone to be achieved by each period. With a lot of ground having been covered already, we should be able to see the token and the DAP source code release as well as liquidity reward program from as early as next month and of course we'll keep you posted on the progress and updates. Lastly, we can see some big names in the list of strategic investors from Sigmund Capital, Master Ventures and even AU21 Capital which is a big statement that RAISE is going to evolve Polkadot and take it to the next level. The most recent alliance that RAISE has undertaken is a strategic partnership with Kylin Network, a team that is building currently a data infrastructure for the future DeFi and Web 3.0 powered by Polkadot. RAISE Networks believes that this partnership constellation will help their team get connected with crypto veterans in different fields, exposing their privacy-preserving protocol to a robust network allowing them chances to learn the pain points and hone in on the integration process and finally to building a low-slate lasting privacy shield for this space. This is a certainly a big step and you can be sure that we'll update you on all the updates of this partnership and all others that RAISE undertakes each step of the way. Well, that's all we had for today and I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure that you like this video and make sure you subscribe and click the bell button so you never miss a video like this one ever in your life. Until next time, bye bye!